Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be doing some alpha gameplay for Department of Justice Roleplay. Now, this is right before I actually release the server and then the actual script. So, this is about the, the, alpha, the alpha version, so it's pretty much complete now. There's only a few commands that I've got to add, um, but pretty much we're, we, we can pretty much play the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, from start to finish. I'm going to show you what, what you should do um, in the beginning when you actually start an account. And uh, and, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll go from there. So pretty much I'm going to register an account. So pretty much I'll put in a dummy password and I'll register. And then it, and then it prompts us to, uh, to create a character. So, so I'll create a character. So Nettie. All right. So now pretty much. Oh, so there is a bug. There's a bug now. Um, I, I knew that was actually going to happen, but I haven't tested it. But pretty much, I meant to uh, select a skin. But pretty much, I've got a skin anyway. So um, pretty much, the, the first thing you want to do is pretty much you, you'll start um, at the airport. So you can go to any other cities if you want to. Um, you start with fifty thousand dollars cash, pretty much. But I'll pretty much um, what I'll do. The the first thing I'll do is I'll actually go to Binko. So I'll go to Binko and I'll change my skin. So what I'll do is I'll come into here so pretty much now I should be able to change my skin so uh, let's just go with this guy here all right so pretty much uh, the first thing is you what you want to do uh, because you, you you're not going to have any licenses so you you, you want to pretty much get a gun license um, and, and a car license and all that sort of stuff so what I'll do is I'll go to Los Santos University and now I'll run into here and then pretty much um, this is where you, where where you get all, all your skills and degrees and all that sort of stuff. So there is some. Um, what you want to do is you want to um, f uh, get all the, fr the the free the free um, degrees pretty much. So I'll apply for that free degree. I believe the next free degree is uh, maybe this one. No, that's 50k. Uh, mining is free. So th there's a, like a normal job you can get. Uh, rescue is not free, and definitely mechanical is not free. So. Those are the, the two main degrees you want to get. So now, now you can be a police officer and a miner. And licenses, we want to get a gun license. So that's $250. We want to get a car license. We also, um, yeah, because we're going to go buy, I'm, I'm going to go buy a car now pretty much. So we want to try and save us. Uh, that's pretty much all we need. So now we can get guns and we can buy a car. So now what I'll do is I'll quickly jump over to the bus stop and we'll go and we'll purchase a car. So now, now because there, there isn't going to be any global vehicles, there is vehicles around that um, that are used for jobs and all that sort of stuff, but there is no global vehicles. So you're going to have to go and buy your own vehicle to get around. So we'll go to Los Angeles Motors. All right, so when you come here, you can purchase a vehicle and uh, we'll buy a used car, a used car because they're, they're cheap. I've got 49,000, so what do I want to get? Let, let's just get a cheap car. Let's just get a Clover. Alright, so that, that's our car, so engine on. As you can see, uh, the number plate doesn't show your name, I actually might uh, fix that. But pretty much this is my this is my car now, so... Uh, so now I've got a gun license, what I can do is I can just quickly drive over to um, ammunition. Grab some guns and maybe do a couple robberies. And uh, I'll show you what the mining job's like as well. We'll probably fly over to uh, Los Angeles and that. But pretty much what I'll do, I'm just going to the ammunition now. Uh, as you can see with the with the yellow dots, that, those are the bus point, the bus stops, um, the bus stops. So the bus stops are, are a way for you to sort of travel around the city, each city sort of thing. So um, and to travel from uh, island to island, uh, you, you'd have to. Um, you have to go to the airport sort of thing, so what I'll do is I'll jump out here. I, I should actually turn my engine off so I'm not race, wasting any fuel. Alright, so engine off. So now we can go into here and I should be able to buy some guns. Go with handguns. Let's just buy a cheap gun. And uh, let's rob the joint. There we go. So th this is how robberies work, pretty much just like GTA 5. Um, as you can see, I'll either get the money. Yep, I actually successfully robbed it for 14,000. So there you go. Uh, you know, um, pretty much if there was any um, police officers online, they would have been alerted uh, of of my location and that. So pretty much, why can't I enter the vehicle? Because the engine's off. Hmm, interesting. Maybe this is. Hmm. So there, there's a massive bug right there. So anyway, let me just uh, bypass it and just jump on a bike. 
Oh, I need a motorcycle license. Let me quickly go and grab that. But oh uh, yeah, there's a couple little bugs because I haven't fully, fully tested it from the start. But uh, um, I need a motorcycle license. All right, now I can ride motorcycles. So pretty much, like, and what I'll do is um, I'll go to the to the 24/7 store and grab a few things. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what you want to do at the start, just to get your licenses and all and all that sort of stuff. And uh, you can pretty much, you know, jump straight away into. Uh, let's see if this works. Maybe I can't enter the. No, I just couldn't enter that vehicle. It doesn't think I own it. Maybe, or maybe I just didn't uh, do the lo the lock system properly. Um, Maybe I have to unlock, oh, I don't know. Well, anyway, here's the 24-7 store. So pretty much you can get a lottery ticket. Might as well buy one, because I might win lottery. I can buy a cell phone as well. Might as well buy a medikit. Uh, Jerry can to refuel, toolbox to repair. Um, I think you've got to be a mechanic to be able to use the toolbox. Crowbar to do, we might we might go over to MVC now, um, to uh, MVC now, to um, Los Venturas and uh, do, do some safe cracking, so uh, might as well get some food and some water as well. Oh, I've got no free slots. So, alright, so there you go. Well, there we are. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just jump quickly to LVPD and we'll quickly go and check out the, uh, the safe cracking. Actually, I need a crowbar. I don't have a crowbar, so I need to get rid of something. Oh, I've got a crowbar. So you need a crowbar, and uh, sometimes the crowbars, I'll just get a bike again. Sometimes the crowbars will will break when you're trying to uh, do robberies and that. So what I'll do is I'll just go to Caligula's. And as you see, I'm having, yeah, I'm over the speed limit. W watch this flash. Bang. As you can see, it actually flashes on screen now. And it, um, and it plays a little sound. So uh, let's go check out Caligula's. Alright, so this one is a bit far, but it's all the way down downstairs. But the uh, Ca Caligula, I mean, uh, Four Dragons is you have to go up an elevator. I think this has got an elevator. Oh no, this has just got the um, the rooftop, the rooftop, uh, rooftop access. So uh, let's quickly run down here. You know, I could possibly put a door up there and you have to maybe sort of break in through the door, maybe hack the door sort of thing. So there is a lot of things I can add. So if you've got any ideas, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, here we are. Let's uh, see if we can uh, crack the safe. You need at least 50 score. <laughs> Set score. Set score player 1000. Right, so you need at least 50 score to crack safes. So now I've got a 1000 score. What? Oh, maybe it's this. I can go like that. There we go. Zero. Uh, would you like to start cracking the safe in? Yes, and here we go, guys. Oh, we actually cracked it open. Maybe I should do an animation where you're actually trying to crack it open. But we, I successfully cracked it open um, with my crowbar. So now we're robbing it, pretty much loading up the cash. So this is how uh, it works. And pretty much what happens is uh, you got to evade the, the police for two minutes with the money to be able to, to take the winnings. And as you can see, they're a lot more, um, a lot more um, higher price, uh, higher um, sort of earns uh, than the normal stores. But pretty much what I'll do is I'll, I'll go and show you the actual uh, elevator system here. This takes you up to the rooftop access. So you, you can have a helicopter waiting up here and this will be a, like a quick way to sort of uh, get away with the money sort of thing. So you can have people in here sort of defending you st and stuff like that. But uh, there we go. And what I can do is I can go up to here. I can go like this and go... Heli. There we go. Boom. And there we go. So now what else can I show you? Oh, you need a pilot license. <laughs> 
Well, there you go, anyway. But uh, that's uh, pretty much, you know, alpha gameplay. There is a few bugs, obviously, because there's a lot of things i still got to test in that. But uh, it's good that we found a few bugs, uh, pretty much. But anyway, the next actual devlog for Department of Justice Roleplay is actually going to be very soon. And it's going to showcase the final alpha. And um, also uh, re show you the, the, the public server release. So there's going to be a server that it's going to be on, a public one, where you can go and play, join an account, um, and also become a tester if you want to in the discord i'll put that discord link in the description if you want to become a tester but it's very soon guys um it, it, so uh, make sure you stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one guys peace